Let's pray, Father, how much we thank you, Lord. Indeed, Lord, you are the Alpha and the Omega. And no one is worthy to be praised but you alone. Jesus, you alone. No other name but your name. Father, as we go to your word, praying, God, Holy Spirit, continue, Lord, to direct us to Jesus Christ. Continue us, Lord, to lead us to righteousness. Continue, Lord, to teach us, Lord, your ways, your word. Keep us away from any error. And Lord, if there's one that we need to rely on when studying your word, it is you, God, Holy Spirit. So be with us this evening. Bless everyone. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody says amen. Again, let's give God a round of applause. Hallelujah. Mayong gabi. Good evening sa inyo, ano? Okay. Do you have your Bibles with you? If you have your Bibles with you, open it to the book of John, chapter 15. John 15, 1 to 8. Okay, let's read all together. John 15, 1 to 8. Let's read all together, reading, go. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. <clears throat> he that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein my Father is glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. Simple the title del Dimio teaching this evening. It's very simple. It's entitled, Spending Time with Christ. Everybody say, Spending Time. There's a reason why it's called spending time. It means, do you believe that time is precious? Do we believe that time is precious? It means when we spend time with God, meaning He is important to us. It's that simple because si hindi importante el bagay, there's the saying, waste of time. Dagan gani ingon ayo na dili na kay sayang na ang oras. And so spending time with Christ. Ya pwede mira un uh, saying How can you expect spending time with Christ eternally if you really spend time with him now? Like how, how do you expect to spend time with God eternally if we don't we rarely spend time with Him now? You know, there are a lot of things to dissect when we talk about spending time with Christ, like the benefits of it, the reason why we should. And so why do we need to spend time with Christ? Na kosa kita yale, in the book of John 15, it talks about bearing fruit. It speaks about being cleansed. It speaks about when we shall ask anything. But it also speaks about glorifying the Father and being His disciples. Abla verse 8 here in my Father glorified. 
Here is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciple. Why spend time with Christ? And here are the following reasons why should we spend time with Christ. First is to be able to live not only for, but to live is Christ. There's a difference between living for Christ and live is Christ. You know, in the book of Philippians, it says, for to me to live is Christ. It does not say to live for Christ. It says, for to me to live is Christ. That's way deeper. So much deeper. Alam si Paul, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And this is the thing, for to me to live is Christ. It means you just don't, kasi sa to, to live for Christ, your own life, and you are going to give it to live for Christ. Here, to live is Christ. It means He is the one living in you. That's why the Bible says, for to me to live is Christ, and that's the only time when you die, it is gain. Not only living for Christ, mga kaigsuunan, it should be Christ that would be seen in us. Hindi kay hindi sila ta pwedeng mira kuntigo kun Kristo pero tabla to jalo lang kay tabibiyo mi vida para kun Kristo. No. It is Christ like. El cosa sila ta pwedeng mira is Christ like. Not you, but Christ. That's the reason why they can say dili man na siya. Hindi man sila ang sina antes. Otro man li ara. Di ba? It means who they see is no longer you. Who they see is Jesus Christ in you. And the only way to be able to do that if we spend time with Christ. You know, the reason why you spend time with Christ, ohala, no? We spend time with Christ not because we want the blessings. Ay mag 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 ampo kuron kay gusto lang nako ang blessing. Mag 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 I will spend time with Christ. Lord, I will spend time with you. Three hours, Lord. Basta Lord to bagi gud ako ang gusto. No. We spend time with Christ first because we love him. Second, we want to influence by him. And third, we want that Christ be seen in us. Again, the goal is transformation. And brothers and sisters, when you talk about blessing, the biggest blessing in life is this, when you are not only saved, but you are transformed into Christ-like. That's the biggest blessing in life. Porque the pastor, the salvation is the biggest blessing. He came here to save, but he didn't stop just to save you. He saved you, and he also wants you to be more like him. Ang kwento nga na kami din ang tiapuera, mostly people, when they look at salvation, it's more on sick, a sick person that needs to be healed. Por eso si Talyado sila kung Kristo, mas hindi ilabida, igual o naikambya, okay lang daw. No. Actually, it's more than that. The Bible does not speak when it, it speaks of salvation, someone that is being healed. The Bible speaks of salvation, someone that needs to be reconciled because people rebelled against God. It means they cannot live for Christ, neither they live is not Christ. Their life is not of God. And so, 
We spend time with God that we may be more like Him that we can say, for to me to live is Christ. And the only time we can say to die is gain. Now, there's nothing wrong to say to live for Christ. Because we always say that. Amen ba? Who do you live for? I live for Christ. But the difference is this. Not only you live for Christ, the life now that I have is of Christ. That's why we can say, for to me to live is Christ. The second reason, why do we need to spend time with God? That we may love Him deeper. To love God. That as, as, as time goes by, we spend time with Him, mas mag you know, give quality time with God, the more we will be in love with Him. The more we will have that path. You know, I was thinking earlier, kasi po ni title na sharing. El Une, pensay, to be a resident in God's presence. Pero, true or false, Daghan di ba, balay? Mga sa balay ba? Lalo na Chenebes, sina mga Rico Yagayot? Like, they live in one house, but they don't spend time with one another. Yes or no? Yes or no? And so when we say that we dwell in the house, we dwell in the presence of God, in that secret place of the Most High, it means we spend time with Him. We are not only busy for the king, we are busy with the king. Para sa blayo, the spending time with Christ. You can go to church, but you don't spend time with God. Yes or no? You can carry your Bible, but you don't spend time with God. You just carry your Bible. You can even read your Bible, but your mind is not after God's heart. And so when we say spending time with Him, it means we take it seriously. Why? Because we need to love God, and we need to love Him more and more as time Deeper and deeper and deeper. What's the great of all commandments? To love the Lord your God with all of who you are. It's not a new commandment. That's not something new. You can find it in, in, in the Old Testament. Deuteronomy 6 5 And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. This is not a new commandment. This has been there. Kaya dali lang si Lord kanila, specific law, para entende sila. But in reality, if they just understood it, they, they, could, have, they could have fulfilled it if they were, they, they focus on this. That's why the reason why the Bible tells them in the Old Testament, to study day and night that this book of the law shall not be part of your mouth. We need to, in the New Testament, we need to abide in His Word and allow His Word to abide in us. Because the only time it will be so if we are truly in love with God. And that's the reason why we need to spend time with God. Sa mga minyo na. Si takasa ba, kabakasa? Hindi na dali tiyempo na dito yung partner. You won't spend time na, minyo naman. What would happen? What would happen? Pasa-pasa. Partahan. Yes or no? 
Ano may lang kita ang daanay na manmaridable? Kung, kung yan, propose pa lang, kanya, propose pa lang, ay, okay, fiancé si Dimeo, hindi na ko na si Dali Tiempo, kusa pa sa. Alta Dali ka na Tiempo, at disgrasya pa, hindi pagkaha. Diba? How much more with God? And the reason why we spend time with Him, it's because we want to love Him more. Amen ba? We, we don't praise the Lord for the blessings. Praise the Lord for His favor. But you know what? The reason why we should spend time with God, it's because not only we love Him, we want to love Him more. That should be the reason. Spending time with God. Third, That we may look unto Jesus. Everybody say, look unto Jesus. We spend always with Him so that we may look unto Him. Hebrews 12, 1 to 2. It says, Wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with a great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us or ensnare us or entrap us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. And the only way to finish the course also is to look unto Jesus. We must always spend time with Him that we may always look unto Him. Kasi, see, you look to your left or to your right, the Bible warns us, do not look to your left nor to your life. Why? Distractions. There are, everybody say with me, distractions. You know, Satan is very good at it. Satan doesn't want you to know more about God. Satan doesn't want you to feel the love of God. Satan doesn't want you to feel the presence of God. Satan doesn't want you to be blessed by God. But here's the thing, Satan cannot do that because he cannot tell God not to do so. And so what he's going to do in order for us not to know God, in order for us not to spend time with God, he is not going to distract God because he cannot distract God. He is going to distract you. Have you noticed por que si de mundo dol no hay kita distractions? Diba? I'll, I'll give you an example. Si movie marathon niya gane, no distractions. Masuko pa, sino mo kwento ang sina? Panjud ka. Lega ka mo kwento. Ah. Pero kung kung Lord ya, balik ang ikal kwento del un, chanical story del un pastor. Ang kwento le, ang kwento daw si Jesus pati si, si Lucifer. Alala si Lucifer kung Jesus, Jesus, come with me. Alala si okay. Why? I'll show you something. Mandala mira ng mundo. Look. People worshiping me. Na mundo man. Alala pala, uy. Real. I mean, okay. The better man kung Lucifer na auto lugar. Look, those are my people. Elas yah liba le kung Jesus. Mga abla biblical la. This was just a story. Tan repeat lang yon. Kasi le kwento. Elas yah liba le kung Jesus na iglesia. Evangelical Church. Appel pastor. Alam pa si Jesus, why are we here? Alam pa, this is supposed to be your people, right? Look, I still have my people here. Where can man? Alam pa, can man alin? Those who, whose heart is not after you. 
May I ask you something? Are you after the heart of God? You know what, what God said? Yamira Lenamundo, he's looking for people whose heart is after his own heart. He is seeking, looking for people whose heart is after, who's after his own heart. You know, if we truly love God, we will never devalue or ignore us spending time with God. We will always spend quality time with God. Tibal araw na nakasa, no pwede subi ariba, kay normal ali ariba taresa, kay talya kanda at emails. No pwede tama niya man pray gat na kwarto, kay talya tama si Zach. And so what I do is just, man alarm yung araw, I just turn my back, Akustaw man. And I spend time with God. So many things. Like, questions like, Lord, am I still near to you or am I far? Lord, am, am I still doing the things you want me to do or am I just doing things on my own? And I asked that. And again, Golden before going here, I asked God once again. Because when I spend time with God, as much as possible, I don't talk much. I want to hear from Him. Tenebes na sobra di misperada tapo di durmi. As tapo di durmi. Kaman tiplak yo. And then I will repeat the question. Pwede lang era sale. Or subi ariba ulit. But spending time with God. Kilaya ka importante ba puntigo to spend time with God? Is it important? We spend time that we may look at Him. That we may keda kita straight al dyatun mirada. Everybody say with me, looking unto Jesus. Why? Why is it important? Because He is the author and the finisher of our faith. And so if he is the author and the finisher of our faith, it means we really need not to take things for granted. We really need to spend time with the author and the finisher of our faith. Diba? Importante man le. But the question is not if he is important. The question is if we truly love him. Yan appreciate bagat kita ko nale. Hopefully we do. Hopefully we take things in a serious way. You know, God really means business. Say with me, God means business. Say that once again, God means business. There's one thing that is very important na mga businessmen. Guess what is that? Time. And if you truly give people your time, lalo kal mga sabi man appreciate, they will appreciate you and you will find favor in their eyes. Yes or no? If you also give your time to God, 
if you will make time for God also. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you're after the blessing, but the Bible clearly says, He will give honor to whom honor is due. He will exalt those who are humble. He will bless those who are His. And most of us just want the blessing, but we do not want to spend time with God. This is a basic principle. Jesus exemplified this. We want to be like Christ. Pero no quiere kita el prayer life. Lord, I want to be like you. Then, exercise our prayer life. Jesus spent time. He was willing to be isolated just to spend time with the Father. He was not willing that he would be distracted when he was with the Father. Kita. Are we willing not to be distracted when we are in the presence of God? Are we willing? Everybody say distraction. Bimi sa kung mga tabas si kanamon si mami antes kondo bata pa. You know when you are focused and you are prepared. you will not be distracted. Yes or no? If you are focused, and Satan wants to distract us. Don't allow yourself to be distracted by the world because the time comes, if maabot ang ginoo and you are distracted, it means your eyes is not on Jesus. You look to the left, you look to the right, baka mauna mabilin ka. And Satan is good at distracting. Why? Because he does not want us to look unto Jesus. Satan does not care if you don't look unto him. All he cares is that you don't look unto Jesus. Because when we do not look unto Jesus, he knows he has our number. He has us. That's why it says here, before it says to look unto Jesus, to lay aside things that would ensnare us. Diba? Seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us or ensnare us or entrap us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Why with patience? Because we need to run, persevere. In our race, our eyes must be on Jesus. Why? Because distraction can be seen left and right. And if we do not focus our eyes on Jesus, no one will persevere. How do we do this? Spend time with Him. Why do we need to spend time? Here's the fourth reason. To gain Christ. Everybody say, gain Christ. Philippians chapter 3, 7 to 11. It says, But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Christ. Listen to what Paul is saying. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I might win Christ. And be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, 
that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death, if by any means I might attain, attain unto resurrection of the dead. So what things are we, what are the things that we can gain? First is the excellency of the knowledge of Christ. Everybody say excellent. It goes on to say, I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ. It means to know Christ. More and more and more. But as Akagane, they don't study the Bible diligently. Sila elogi. Akal mga hente tabla. Sige lang kasi no kere estudya ito lang se akilang nyo man man support lang yung nakantada, man clap clap lang yung ito yase bahala. Ito elogi. When you don't study God's word. Because here's the thing. Si kung bidayo kun kun for example kung bidayo kun ate Mirna, ate Mirna. Mag-study ta about sa pulong sa Ginoo. Dungan ta. If we study together, what I will gain, she will also gain. Yes or no? Pero kung mag-insya sa ako ah, ikaw lang pastor. Unya e unya unsa man, aminaw na lang ko sa imong wali. Now, will she gain what I have learned? Yes or no? Wala siya ng kuyog sa ko. Will she gain what I have learned? No. Now, when I, I share it, madunggan to niya, there are things that she may get. Yes or no? But the entirety of what I've learned, she will not have that. And I cannot just transfer that to her. Kabar kundi pag siya willing maminaw, di na niya makuha. Mauna gani Kung naata sa simbahan yung pa si si Daddy aw oh, ngano man sakit imong dughan dar sa mga tawo di maminaw di man ikaw ang lugi sila man And whose time is there is di ken ora sila tan waste del Jose di ila You're not wasting God's time Remember God is time He is above and beyond time in the beginning, God created what? The heavens and the earth. In the beginning means time, heavens, space, earth, matter. Hello? And so Paul is saying that in order for him to win Christ, he must really, really value Christ over anything. Here's my question. Is there anything or anyone great that, that has greater value in your life compared to Jesus Christ? Kasi si Chene, grande kita problema. Don't, don't believe in this kind of philosophical or teaching today that says it's okay as long as channel lang to faith pero hindi man pinaka-importante kung tigo al Diyos ka intendele. Actually, if God is number two, here's what the sin that you're committing. It's sin of idolatry. Do you know why God said thou shalt not have no other gods before me? First and foremost, He knows humans were created to worship. Have you noticed something? Maski na mga de antes, mga gente, humans would really look for something to worship. 
The problem is this. Because of sin, people were corrupted. Instead, they worship the one true God. They have made idols, perso aray of asesila, idols from their own hands just to worship. And, and not only making idols, in, in the modern age, it is this. Your idol can be your career. Your idol can be your business. Your idol can be anything. That's why God said, do not, may, do not worship other gods. Do not, do not commit idolatry because once you commit idolatry, it means this, worse things will happen in your life because now your focus is not on the one true and living God. Because humans were created to worship. The excellency, and, and, and for us, to be able to worship more and have that, have, have that love, true worship towards God is to spend time with Him because the more we spend time with Him, the more that we will get to know Him. And the more we get to know Him, the more we trust in Him and worship Him. That's why the Bible always says, Seek me. Seek Him. Now, another thing that we would gain if we, if we are in Christ is His righteousness. Everybody say His righteousness. Now, many would argue and say, Pastor, the moment I give my life to Christ, I already gain His righteousness. That's the reason why I don't need to spend time with Him. Kainaan ang righteousness ako ah. You have been cleansed, yes. But in order for you to live a righteous life, in order for you to live a Christ life kind of life, is to be influenced by Him. And not only that, really understand His Word and Christ. And as long as you spend time with Him, slowly but surely, you would see your life changes. Because not only you would see his righteousness or ablakero to el righteousness, you would see his righteousness. You would know who he is. You would know his holiness. And I will tell you honestly, even if you read the Bible, if you are in that place, if you are in the, in the presence of God and his, in his holiness, you cannot help but admit, wait a minute, I'm sinful. I'm not worthy. This is a holy God. And this is how I should live. And as a child of God, if He is my Father, if He is divine, then I am, I am the branch, then I should act like Him. Gaining His righteousness. Amen ba? Hello? Do you want to live a righteous life? Do you want to be able to live a life that is in line with Christ? Spend time with Him. Everybody say with me, spend time with God. Next, what are the things that we can gain from Christ? To know the power of His resurrection and His suffering. And many today does not understand the power of his resurrection and his suffering. Kaya nga nai na takre, el otro takre kay este aramundo amo este el heaven. Si heaven ni unsa na lang ang impierno. I don't think so. This is heaven. Now, the power of his resurrection. Everybody say resurrection. You know why it's very important that is your resurrection? Because without him resurrecting, our faith is in vain. But the fact that God, Jesus, resurrected, it means our faith in him is not in vain. And not only that, it means this, we are a new creation in Him. 
And if he resurrected, then we who believe in him, if we die, and then he comes, we will be also resurrected by him. And the power of his suffering. Why do you think he was willing to suffer? Because of love. You know, ma many today does not understand God's love. Sinuay dala si Lord, el blessing tapidi sila, hindi, hindi, hindi kumigo love si Lord. Si dala si Lord kanila auto, grabe, bien love kumigo si Lord compared sa imuha. Like, His love is not based on the material things that you have. His love is based on the thing that He has done on the cross. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. And the Bible says in the book of Romans, He, he showed His love in that while we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. And so again, if people ask you, Love ba kumigo si Lord? Tell them right away, He loves you so much, He died for you. Hindi kay, Mira tu mas love kumigo si Lord? Porke man? Nebo mio kami sa karos eh. Unsa mong cellphone? Pareho ta bago. Ah, mas labsa ko si Lord, no? Kaya mas mala ko ah. No, that's not the basis of God's love. You know, there are people now who believe that if, if you call yourself a Christian and then you are going to sufferings or you're going to trials, they would tell you this. Kasi na kay problema sa ginoo. Now, Granted, there are people, kayo, they're having problems because they live a wicked life. But it doesn't mean if you live a faithful and a, a life pleasing before God, you will not face problems. Always remember this. There were Christians before us who suffered and died. They were martyrs. And there will be more martyrs for Christ, but it doesn't mean they are not blessed. They are not loved. Maybe one of these days you will be facing sufferings for Christ. But it doesn't mean you are not loved by God. We just live in a wicked world ruled by Satan. Because of his resurrection, because of what he has done, we are victorious in him. Not only to know the power of his resurrection and sufferings, but to conform. Everybody say conform unto his death. What do you mean by that? The only way to be like Christ is to die and give our old self to Christ, to be crucified, to conform unto this. And not only that, to also be willing to suffer for the name of Jesus Christ. Disciples, the apostles, if you read the book of Acts, they said they were rejoicing every time they were persecuted. Why? Because they count it as if they are worthy to suffer with Christ. Not only to be conformed to his image, but to conform unto death. Manata si nukere. Ayaw lang ako pastor. Love man ako si Christ, pero numatamin ang sina. Napa mga uban, nga dilit na kasabot. Dilit pastor, God is loving, He will not allow that. You know, you know there's a, there was this one person to the point, yung pa siya, I don't believe what Peter said that the world is reserved for fire because God is love daw. Inko na unsa na. I told him this. Do you know why what Peter said would come true? Because God is love. 
He loves His people so much that He doesn't want His people to suffer the wickedness of this world. And because He is so good, definitely He hates evil. He hates bad things. And He will never no longer tolerate them. He is, he is not tolerating them. He is just long-suffering. He's just waiting that people may repent. Do you really think that the wickedness of this world will not face the judge of all judge when the time comes? Do you really think people who will not repent of what they are doing, thinking all the while they can escape? Do you really think people who are there is a higher places? Who are very corrupt and manipulative, do you really not think that they, one day they will stand before the righteous judge? Hindi sila man repent? They will. And so do every single people, great or small, if they will not repent, they will stand before the righteous judge. And during that time, there will be no mercy and there will be no grace. But for now, praise be to God because we serve a gracious and merciful Father. Amen. Why do we need to spend time with Him? To attain resurrection. Spending time with Christ. In short, many would say, nga man, pastor, ang tao katung sa cross, ang tao sa cross, wala man lagi siya gibuhat, tuwa man siya sa cross, naluwas man lagi. Uh, first and foremost, he was spending time with Christ, na cross lang gani. Was he talking with Christ? Was he talking with Christ? Was he communicating with Jesus? Was he conversing with Jesus? Was he humble? Did he put his trust on Christ? There you go. Maybe you, what they're trying to say is wala siya gibuhat para na is salvation. Yes, because Christ, salvation comes from Christ. But, you need to have faith in Him. You need to put your trust in Him. Continue to spend time with Christ, first and foremost, to what? To love Him more. Second, to be able to persevere as we run the race. Because the only time we will be victorious, if our focus, everybody say with me, my eyes is focused on Christ, my mind is towards Christ, and my heart is settled on Him. Those are the things we need to do. And it cannot happen if we don't spend time with Him. Manadi ta ubi mga, parke mo no studies and separatahan, dugay na gane mo. Layo mang good, niya walay time sa usat usa. And so, not spending time, the eye starts to roam around. Yes or no? Mangita og comfort. Mangita og someone to talk to. You know, in reality, the world, if you just look at the world today, people really, they seek for comfort and someone to talk to. But here's the problem. No one leads them to Christ. Or si Chene man kanila tan lead kung Christ, no kere sila kre. Here's the thing. How can we lead people to Christ and tell them that Christ is ready to listen to them if we ourselves don't spend time with Him? 
Sila ito arabas na hente. Again, you cannot give what you do not have. You cannot teach what you do not understand. Because of the Dinati Sate Langing, only those who has already experienced spiritual warfare would understand what she's saying. That's true. We can always explain it all day long. But you will not see. Igual lang ba say, si Chene Ara Sundalo ki, like si Sir John, Sundalo. Naka-experience man si, si Sir John Guerra te, no? Oh. Ipaling, ipastorya na to di si Sir John, whole day about war. We can, we can try to imagine, but the real experience, we will never understand, not unless you and I will go to an actual war. Do you get the point? And so you cannot teach people the feeling or, or, or the, the reality of spending time with Jesus if you don't spend time with Him. You can talk all you want. Oh, tinood na, spend time. You can say that, but deep in your heart, you know, even you yourself would ask this question. You can ask question, what's the Igual kan daw, Pastora Lea, sa di ila feeling na ang sina sila ka level. I even asked, how could I reach? So if you want to be effective, spend time with Christ. Amen ba? Amen ba? Do you value Him? Do you value Christ? Do you value Christ? May I ask you, before we close in prayer, is your time valuable? Importante ba kung dito yung ora? Do you want people to waste your time? Yes or no? Is your time important? So are you willing to spend time with Christ? Kasi kung kung importante dito yung ora, kaya di sir kabar, willing to dali sa dito yung importante ora kung Kristo, kaya sir, si Kristo importante kontigo. Kasi si hindi to willing dali ora kung Kristo, kaya di sir, para kontigo si Kristo hindi importante. And it's so sad that mostly today, okay lang kanila hindi dali ora kong Kristo. Sige lang pastor, inigraduate na ko. Sige lang pastor, inig na anak ko'y trabaho. Sige lang pastor, kung daku na ako rango. Sige lang pastor, kung daku na kayong sweldo. Kunya na tigok. El otro pa, sige lang pastor, kung di na ako makasasala. Ha? Again, If you think that being a sinner is a hindrance to be with Christ, I'm not saying it's okay to continue in sin. But listen, He came for sinners, not for the righteous. And now that we are saved, we must continue to be with Him. Amen ba? Mukatapad. Hindi mukatapad. Spend time with Christ. Let us all stand. You know, if you read the book of John, it says there in the beginning. In the beginning was the, and the word was, and the word was, and it goes downward. It says, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. This is John speaking. We might not be there during that time. But would you agree with me that 
Not only God put effort to save us, but He also gave His time for us. Yes or no? You know, every time dali to attention na unhente, you're also giving your time to that person. Kaya sa yung broma yung may uban, sabi to, ben kontra gato ko na si hente, pero tamire love to ko na si. Alam pa kaya man, tadali gato dito yung ora ko na yun. Baka yung Jesus no, taama lang gato ko na si hente. Because time is important. Or it's either you just have too many time to waste, but in reality, we do not have time to waste. Ang kwarta mabalik, ang oras dili. Mabalik man, sarelo lang, balik-balik ni mo. And we only have few, few minutes left. Jesus said, when He was here, as long as it, It is day I will work because when the night comes, no one would work. And he said, the Bible says, redeem the time for the days are evil. Listen, before you go excited going out to redeem the time, spend time with him first. Because you cannot change the world with your own strength. You cannot redeem the time with your own knowledge. You cannot redeem the time with who you are, with your beauty or whatever. You can just redeem the time with the power of God, Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ in you. Amen ba? Spend time with Him. You know, I, I'm, I'm noticing something like, have you noticed El Mga Teachings Ara is more like very simple and yet so the cost to follow Jesus, spending time with Christ. These are things that are very fundamental. And, and these things, normally nawala na nga naman, ang kadaghan ng kanwali ka ni, love God because you will have blessings. And it's no longer about Him, it's all about you. Let's go back And be reminded, it's not about us, it's about Him. Everybody say with me, it's not about me. It's about Him. You know, we preach Jesus. We share, I share this to point everyone to Christ. And when we speak to sinners, to unbelievers, still we point them to who? It's not about us. It's about Him. Again, when you want to spend time with Christ, it's not about what you get. It's us giving all our love to Him. It's not about us. It's about Him. He already gave His life for us. It's not bad to ask for supplication. It is biblical. Let your supplication be made known unto God. Continue in doing so. You know what's bad? If we just approach Jesus and just ask for things. If we really love Him, We will really approach Jesus as a son to a father, as a bride to a groom. Or kaya kaya usa? Amo ka tabla ng Bible. He is the husband. We are the bride. He is our father. We are His children. Mga anak, todo mang kita anak. Todo mang kita chene parents. Amen. Todo mang kita chene parents? May I ask you, do you love your parents? Si tatra ka ustedes, ustedes parents, tanangga ustedes, hindi. You 
You know, let us not be like children. Dolakel si legal tata ni Hai ni Hoy. Naun ka saya hindi patan mirahan. Naun ka saya hindi patan kwento. Kanya-kanyang kwarto. Antes tabla ko mga mga tata. Unsan na ganyan si Isaac? Uy, mabuta sa balay na lang sa kwarto. Mahawa na lang tayo na sa kwarto. Hindi ko kabalok eh. Naabot na. Ngit-ngit pa akong kwarto. Hindi ko kabalok. Kung buntag na gabi eh. And you know what? Many today are like that when it comes to Christ. Ni Hai ni Hoy. Basta resibi lang yung blessing ang moya kin. As a good child, let us be respectful, let us be obedient, and let us honor our Father. Ito ba si Liga nakasabi sa mano? Hello, Dad. Manangga. And so that is how Every morning, Lord, Father, I'm here. It's not, Lord, what can you do for me? No, Lord, what can I do for you? And for how many tata yayo pregunta? I ask mga tata, not only in this church, in different churches, and friends, unsa ang gusto nyo paminawan? Kasa usted as alegre uwi as parents. At track ako na sa'yo, na, Dad, dali kumigo baon. Or Dad, kung sa ito pwede asa kumigo. Or Dad, ayuda kumigo sa'yo. Nothing wrong with that. As a father, as a parent, we will do that. Yes? Pero how would you feel if your son or daughter actually comes to you and say, Dad, I love you. What can I do for you today? What would you feel? What would you feel? Diba? Diba? Baka pwede ito abla, hindi na yung trabaho ara, anak, matpasyaan na ito. Simple. But why can't we do that? Why can't we spend time with our Heavenly Father who gave us life, who died for us? And really spend time and really enjoy to be with Him. And I hope this message has touched your heart. Amen ba? Spend time with God. And I believe those who are sick, those who are in problems, as you spend time with God, you will have peace, you will have joy, you will receive healing. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, again, Thank you so much for reminding us this evening. Lord, forgive us, Father, if we take things for granted. We are not perfect, yes, Lord, but this is not a reason. God, Holy Spirit, continue to work in us. Continue to work in us, O God. And praying, Father, that everyone, Lord, everyone who has heard the lesson this evening, Father, will not only be informed, but prayer lives be transformed. Oh, Lord, we will truly spend time with you. We will always be excited to be in your presence. Bless your children again. And this is the healing that we ask, O oh God. I believe, Lord, your children really has that longing to spend time with you. But in the name of Jesus, we pray it will not just be a longing, but Father, it will happen in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, Satan is trying, Lord, to stop us from doing it. But Father, praying, Lord, your children will have the discernment. Your children, Father, Father will see, Lord, the tactics of the enemy. And we will never make busy as a reason why we cannot spend time with you. Father, bless your children. And Lord, we are just so thankful because your mercies are new every morning. Indeed, you are a gracious God, a compassionate Father. Thank you so much, Lord. Bless your children once again. Those who are sick this evening, Touch them, O oh God. Embrace them with your love and care. 
and we believe, Lord, they are healed in your name. And Father, as we depart from this house of worship, we know we are victorious. We know, Lord, we will be rejoicing. We know, Lord, we are blessed because of your presence and of your word. Lord, praying that everyone will reach the respective household safe and sound. Again, Lord, let the smile of God, Holy Spirit, be with us all. And everybody shout, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's give God a round of applause. Before you go out, say, I love you. Jesus loves you. And then say, spend time with Christ.